I'm here at Cruise Night in Downers Grove, Illinois with my uh, 1958 Pontiac Parisienne convertible. This is the video category on engine. It's a mild small block. Hello, my name is Natalie and welcome to US Classic Muscle Cars. I'm here with Tom today in front of this beautiful car. Oh, this is a 1963 Plymouth Sport Fury. It's a two-door hardtop, and that's a complete restoration. This car was. Hi, my name is George. This is a 1960 Bonneville convertible. Hello, my name is Frank. I got a 64 Chevy Impala SS. Good evening. I'm Jim. This is my 56 Thunderbird. It's peacock blue. And we also have the chrome wheels and the very nice paint job as well over here. Hi, my name is Natalie. Here's a quick presentation. Hi, I'm here in Downers Grove. I'm from U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. I'm here with Wayne, who yep. has a beautiful... 58 Impala. Okay. What can you tell me about your car? Well, the uniqueness of it, um, like I was telling uh, this little this gentleman over here, uh, every year back then, the styles changed completely from year to year. This is the first year for the Impala, which is 1958. It came in two models, a two-door hardtop, which we're looking at right here and a convertible. Which and as that, we discussed, that was it. very rare convertible. They are, yes. Convertibles are much rarer than the hardtops. How long have you owned this? I've had this for 10 years. 10 years, okay. Yes. This uh, restoration was done in North Carolina in 2001. It was a three year restoration, frame off. <laughs> it was a, uh, a frame off uh, rotisserie uh, restoration uh, back in North Carolina. And it's withstood the test. This is now 2016, and the car was done in 2001, which is a long time ago. As far as red is concerned, or the color is concerned, it's called Rio Red, R-I-O, and that is what this color is here. That was the red in 58. It's a little different. In 57, if you've seen 57 Chevys, it's a bright red. Right. And in, back in 59, it went back to a bright red. So and this you said is, each year. This is very different. Okay. Right. Uh, as far as the, uh, if you want to talk a little bit about the engine, yeah, uh, that's what I was going to. this is the first year for a 348, which actually was a truck uh, engine before okay. 58, and it has the three deuces, which they call tri power. Right. What else was this ran in? Any other Chevys? No. Just this no. one? No. Just, okay. uh, right. Correct. Not that I'm aware of, let's put it that way. <laughs> okay. And of course, nothing before 1958. And then they progressed from there up to the 409 and so on. Okay. Uh, in uh, late 61 and early 62. Okay. Uh, the, they call the interior the uh, tricolor interior, which has the red and the gray and the black. And that's called the, the tricolor. This is the original interior. The that is the original interior. Everything on the car is original and what you would put on a car from a dealer in 1958. Okay. There's nothing that wasn't available from a dealer in 58 that's on this car. Were there extras you could order in 58 that you have on the car? There were many extras, okay. little things like this behind the handles kept you from, you've seen cars that have the little, all the scratch marks behind it. Okay. This was an option. These exhaust ports, which aren't really exhaust ports, they're not real. Okay. Sometimes you see a, a 58 with one on each side. This has two. Okay. The dual antennas, the skirts, the Continental kit, those are all things that were extras. Okay. What about the wheels? Well, these are what would come on a 58 Impala, the, the uh, knockoffs. Okay. So those are all pretty much standard. Sure. Back pocket. 
They call this a pocket continental here. A you may have seen continental. cars that uh, have the full back section continental here. This is pretty much what they did in 57, 58, and so on. Of course, it's got a huge oh, wow. trunk. Wow. Everybody jokes, how many bodies can you fit in there? Do you know how many? Uh, no, I don't. I've never tried it. Okay. <laughs> But that's like a standing joke with people. Say, oh my goodness, how many bodies can you put in there? <laughs> so. Always carry a few extra chairs. You're definitely car show ready. We can see that. <laughs> These are, of course, the original style tires. The right, the correct width on the white wall. Which is what size? Which I couldn't tell you exactly what that is right now. That would, uh, I wouldn't be sure of that. Okay. A lot of people uh, upgrade to the uh, uh, radial white walls. These are not. These are bias ply. But the uh, radial white walls give you a little better ride, and you still can't tell much of a difference from one to the other. Odd question. Dual exhaust, of course. Does the radio still work in the car? The radio works in the car. The clock occasionally works. <laughs> uh, everything else works just fine. I Do you plan know. to make any changes to it? No, not really because I'm a believer in stock. I like cars that are stock. I don't like to add things that weren't available in 1958. I like it just the way it is. Oh, it's beautiful the way it is. Reduces. That was the biggest they had in '58. And you can go ahead and view it on YouTube at US Classic Muscle Cars. Excellent. That's on that sheet of paper I had earlier. Absolutely. Share with your friends. Subscribe. That would be fun. And we look forward that. to seeing you at more shows. Well, thank you very much, Jen. Thank you.